in this video we are going to learn about teachings of Jainism teachings of Jainism or we can say even sometimes teachings of Mahavir the founder of modern Jainism first of all we have to see what Mahavir rejected. He rejected the authority of Vedas. Authority of Vedas. As we know, before coming of these two religions, Jainism and Buddhism, Vedic period had four important literature that is Rig Veda, Atha Veda, Yajur Veda and Sama Veda. He rejected all of them and said that these rejected are of no use at that time. He also said that the caste system on which the society was divided like that of Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras had now no role to play in modern society. The existence of one God is of no history it is having a no history that only one God exists he believed in one important thing that was karma karma means doing action whatever you do you will reap its fruits as you sow so shall you reap and so he believed in transmigration of soul that is if one body possesses some sort of soul and then he will do good or bad deeds the same soul will be migrated to the body so the basics of Mahavir or the teachings of Jainism almost we came to the basic point. Most important of the first can we see that Jainism teaches Tri Ratnas, it is also called as Tri Ratnas, Tri means three Ratnas, that is three Jivanas. And the three jewels were KFC. KFC means right knowledge, right faith, and right conduct. Right knowledge, right faith, and right conduct. Five conducts were also there. Five conducts were also there. Number two to be noted that was Ahimsa. Number first was Ahimsa. Ahimsa means non violence, which Gandhi used to say or follow up. Non-violence means not to kill anyone. Number two being STO. STO, which means 
not to steal. Number third being a body graha. Number third being a body graha. That is not to collect wealth. Not to collect more wealth than of your need. The more you will have, the more greedy you will become. Number four means Satya. Satya means not to tell lies. Not to tell lies. These four were given by Parsvanath. Parsvanath, as we know, he was 23rd Tirtha. Tirthankara. Tirthankara, as we know, was means Guru. And number fifth conduct, which was given by Mahavir or Vardhaman Mahavir, the founder of modern Jainism, was Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya means observing. Continence. Brahmacharya means observing continence. This fifth one was given by Mahavir. Brahmacharya, or also called as Celebacy, C E L I, C E L I B E C Y. That is Pak Rehna. So, Shafaf. Mahfuz kisi cheez se dur rehna. Silabasi. Not to touch any even. Which, what does this or the Silabasi was for? Number one, not to marry. Kya ye ho sakta tha? If this only this one would have been applied by Janus surgically, then Janus would have exist, have not existed, and it would have extincted forever from the baby birth. Number two was not to establish, not to establish. A relationship with other opposite sex that is men were not having a sort of relationship with woman and woman not to have a relationship with that of men This celibacy or brahmacharya also wanted they both had a faith that not talk with one another that is woman would not talk with men and men would not talk with woman not to see not to touch and even not to feel these were the things which the Jain orthodoxy had in their principles. If such things would have been followed by the Jain orthodox followers, I think Jainism would have extincted from the very birth 
Thank you.